see or how we can disable and enable USB port okay so this, this can be used for just for security reason so that no one can steal your data okay so uh, you can also prank with your friends just by blocking their USB ports and after that once the ports has been blocked no one can access those ports or you can you cannot put your USB drive if you put it the system won't detect it at all so in the very first thing is like your data will be protected if you want to disable it disable it no one can steal your data by using pen drive or something okay so let's begin with that mm, okay hit on start and type run okay type run hit enter or you can do the same by pressing windows key plus r okay then type r e g e d i t that is the registry edit okay hit enter there you go permission allow there we go okay so i'll quickly just compress the all many okay there you go. now you have to go to hardware key local machine okay okay this is the first one then you need to go to system okay once you are in the system then current control set i'm sorry current control set then you need to go to services in services you need to search for usb store so better I'll drag this one down here. Let's see. Okay. What is that? Yeah, there we go. This is USB store. Okay. So once you click here, you see a lot of options here. So these are the registry editors which enables the hardware function and disables as well. Okay, so what you have to do? You have to double click on on start. Okay. And once you change the parameter suppose you make it 2 now it is 3 ok I'll show you it is in working condition for a second let me plug my USB drive and plug my USB drive wait a second here done so as you can see here my usb drive has been detected and it, it's showing here 16 gb usb drive okay i'll show you the properties as well so that will be helpful for you okay in order to differentiate you see this is a usb drive okay So if you want to disable the USB port, you have to just change this value data, okay, which I got it from here, as you can see, click on start, and you get a no, value data, and if you change this one to 4, you, all your USB ports will be disabled, okay, you won't be able to access it. So when you change the value data to 4, then you need to click OK. Make sure you restart your system in order to apply those effect. OK. So close this one. Close this one. And now I'm going to restart my system to just show you whether it detects or not. OK. Is, um, as you can see I have plugged my USB drive but it's not it's not showing any it's the uh, USB drive is not getting detected by my PC as you can see here okay there is no USB drive again I'll show you second okay as you can see here I will change 
and put it to the other slot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even though you see it is it is not getting restricted by PC because the USB ports has been disabled. Okay. And I'll put it out and plug it somewhere else in the other port. As you can see here, it still it is not getting reflected here. Okay, see it is plugged in. So now, what you have to do? Again, you have to go back. Again, you have to do the same procedure to bring those thing back so that your device can detect USB device. Okay, your laptop or PC can detect USB drives. So again, you press Windows key plus R. Okay. And the same one registry edit that is R E G E D I T okay then go to the same place so when you print for the next time it will it automatically land on the on this, this page okay and click on start you just change the value okay you change the value to three okay it okay then restart your system and then you will see your PC will be able to detect the USB drives again so it could be your USB ports will be unblocked okay thank you so much and if you like the video give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos and you will get daily uh, new con contents on my channel thank you so much and have a great day Bye -bye.